Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to repair a database in MySQL. So this may or may not work in all cases. Uh, your database may or may not be repairable and there may or may not be other ways you can do this. This is just one thing that you can do. Obviously back up all your data before doing anything like this. It could be destructive for all we know. So, um, you know, if you break your database even, even more than it is already broken, that's kind of on you, not on me. Um, any case, Let's, let's go ahead and try to repair a database. Now, you can use the MySQL check command. Now, you can see out, see here in the output, um, I was already uh, running some commands in MySQL, and you can see there's some databases there. So let's take a database as example. Let's say test DB2, right? Copy that. And let's say um, MySQL check. Now, there's nothing wrong with this database. I know ahead of time it's not broken. So I'm just going to show you the command that you would use and how it actually functions, just, just uh, as a quick demo. So hopefully this is a, at least a little bit useful for somebody watching here. Now you can say MySQL check and your database name. Uh, actually you can say dash dash repair database name, right? Now if you are, so I'm authenticating on a socket using the identity of the user I'm logged in as. If you're not authenticating that way, you might have to specify a dash U, your username and dash P, and then type your password in. I'm not including those, but you know, just, just so you're aware, you might have to type that also. You might need a dash U and a dash P. In any case, MySQL check, dash dash repair, and your database name. So let's give it a, a whirl. Now, the storage engine for table doesn't support repair. Um, storage engine for all of these tables does not support repair. So there you go. None of these storage engines support it. So if I were using a different um, storage engine, it probably would support it. So at least um, if, if nothing else, hopefully somebody gets, uh, you know, let's just try with this other one. I know this, this one doesn't have any tables at all. So if there aren't any tables, it's just going to give you no output. So it's gonna go through each table in your database and attempt to repair it for you. Now, um, in this case, each table is using the wrong storage engine. So in any case, hopefully at least this shows you, you know, what the command looks like and kind of what to expect. Um, unfortunately, this is probably not the most useful example, but hopefully this helps somebody. Um, in any case, um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys on that next video.